If you watch my Blendstones review, then you already know I'm not a huge fan of this boot. I think for the price, there are much better options. And in this video, I'm gonna cover my five favorite Blendstone alternatives. Let's get into it. To me, the best alternative to a Blendstone is the Thursday Legend. And I'm gonna cover a couple reasons. One, why if you didn't watch that video about why I'm not a huge fan of Blendstones, I'm gonna tell you right now and I'm gonna tell you exactly why the Thursday Legend basically addresses most of those issues. Blundstone uses a genuine leather upper, which isn't as high quality as a full grain leather upper. They also use a mold injected uh, sole that they just cement onto the upper. So this, when there's water nearby, water can easily leak into that cemented sole. Once, if there's like a little part that breaks down, the basically glue, that's what it is. If a little part breaks down, then water can get right in there. Lastly, this is not lined at all. So it is just the leather. It's got a little bit of fabric in there, but that fabric's gonna wear off, especially like my big toe wears on the inside of my boots all the time so that would just wear that fabric down within months so why i think the thursday legend basically solves all of those problems why i think it's the best alternative to a blundstone out there one the look is, is pretty similar this is definitely a more stylish boot than uh it's a little more slimmer narrow i got some other boots on here that are more for durability for work that kind of thing this is definitely the most stylish on the list so if you're looking for a blundstone for style then this would be a really good alternative there but this uses a goodyear welted construction if you're not familiar with that what that is that is basically the gold standard of boot construction. The reason why is there is a piece of leather that is stitched into the midsole, which is then attached to the outsole. So basically you're getting way more weather resistance. You're not just relying on glue to keep you know the two pieces together. You have a full stitch there. You also have some glue as well, but it basically has an extra layer of protection in there, another piece of leather, a stitch, and some cement in there that's gonna help make sure that this boot, the leather doesn't come separated from the sole. And it also is way more water resistant than the Blundstone. The Thursday Legend is also a lot more comfortable. So it has a pour on insole and a cork midsole. So the Blundstones, they're synthetic all the way through. Insole, midsole, outsole, all the way synthetic. But this does use cork in the midsole, which basically will mold to the shape of your foot over time. So it's comfortable right out of the box, but it continues to get more comfortable over time. Lastly, the leather on the Thursday Legend is just much better than Blendstone. It uses a full grain leather. It has a full leather lining for a total of three millimeters of leather in the upper and the lining when you combine those together. It is Thursday's rugged and resilient, which has got a little bit of a nap to it. So it also resists scratches a lot. That's one thing that a lot of people I saw researching, they complain about their Blendstones because they get deep scratches and it's hard to fix because with the Blendstones, they're not dyed all the way through. Once you scratch the top, that natural leather color comes through. And so it just makes the scratch look massive. That you're not gonna run into that issue with the Thursday Legend. And so that is a final reason because the Thursday Legend and the Blundstone are basically the same exact price. This is just such a better boot. Now I know a lot of people use their Blundstones for yard work and they use them in, in really rugged situations. Again, I've kind of given some reasons why I don't think that that's they're a really good boot for that anyway. So if you're looking for durability, if you're looking to work in your boots, then I would recommend for durability, the Red Wing Classic Chelsea. Now, one of the biggest differences, one of the things you're gonna notice right here that is different about the Red Wing Classic Chelsea than any of the other boots on this list is this does have a wedge sole. So for me, one of the things I like about Blendstone is it does have this separated heel and that's everything else on this list, the Thursday Legend, uh, this Jim Green I'm gonna talk about in a little bit. They use that different type of sole, it's not a wedge. One of the benefits of a wedge sole is that people with knee problems or back problems, they find these to be way, way more comfortable and help alleviate some of those issues. That aside, you can see which one of these boots I personally use for work. You can see how clean this Blundstone is and you can see how dirty this Red Wing Classic Chelsea is. No, it does not come with paint on it. That is something I added custom myself. As I said, this is definitely Red Wing. They tan their own leather, so they have their own leather tanning company and they use those leathers and they are phenomenal. They're super durable. They're really easy to care for and ultimately, it just makes for a way better boot. You're getting such better quality materials with the Red Wing. This also has a 360 degree good well, like the Thursday. So you're getting a lot more weather resistance as well. And overall for durability, the Red Wing Classic Chelsea is a far better boot than the Blundstone. Now, if you're after just comfort, I recommend the Redback Easy Escape. Now, one of the things about Blundstone that I like, but at the same time, I don't like, is unlike any of these boots up here, Blundstone, you can actually remove the insole. These boots right here, you can't remove the insole. It, it just is what it is. And it's hard to add an insert because the sizing doesn't really fit like that. Blundstones, you can remove the insert. So I can take out the insole, but this insole right here is super thin and it's, it's like just a low density piece of foam. It's like a, if I could just like cut off a piece of 
cooler or something like styrofoam and just put that in a shoe. That's like basically what Blendstone did. So this is pretty lame. But with Redback, they include one of those. You can remove it if you want, but it has orthopedic support in it, unlike the Blendstone. So the Redback is immediately comfortable. It has a lot more arch support than the Blendstone. The prices are very similar. And if you need your own orthopedic support, like if you have a custom insert or something like that, you can add one customly into the Redback just fine. Redbacks also fit a little bit wider, so you have more room. You can wear thicker socks, or if you have wide feet, the Redback is just gonna be a better option for you. If you looked at the price of a Blundstone and you were a bit sticker shocked, then I would recommend the Jim Green Stockman. So the Jim Green Stockman, this is in the low 100s. I think last time I checked, it was like between 120, 130. It's in that range. But again, this is a better boot at a cheaper price. This has three millimeters of leather. So it's got the one millimeter lining, two millimeters of full grain leather on the outside versus genuine leather, if you remember that. And one of the great things about the Jim Green Stockman is that it has a stitch down construction. So. Unlike Goodyear Welted, so it, the methodology is a little bit different. This is still a traditional way of making boots. It's also way more weather resistant than just a cemented sole like you would get with the Blendstone. So that's basically, it takes the leathers a little bit flanged out. It gets stitched directly into the midsole. And so there is not really much space for water to get in there. There's a lot of protection there. So again, this is a better, if you're looking for work, uh, this is a better option. It has a very similar Blendstone cutout design right here for the leather. The elastic goring is some of the best I've seen on any Chelsea regardless of price, I have $500 Chelsea's. This elastic goring is, is awesome. This is a very sturdy feeling boot and it's all natural materials all the way through the insole and midsole. So it is leather and cork and the insole, midsole. So it's gonna be super durable. It's gonna last a long time. One of the big things I would watch out if you're thinking about the Stockman, if it sounds like a perfect boot to you, the toe is very, very wide. If you have wider feet, this is awesome for you. But from a stylistic perspective, I like the Blendstones a little bit better. They just have a more narrow toe. And of all of them, I like the Thursday Legend even more than that for style purposes, because it has the most narrow toe. So the Jim Green, in terms of price, in terms of material quality, way better than Blendstones, but you do have to watch out for that wide toe. My fifth alternative, I know a lot of people like shopping with Blendstone because they offer vegan leathers. I'm not such a huge fan of vegan leather, but if you're looking for a another alternative, another vegan leather boot, vegan leather Chelsea, then I recommend the Doc Martin Felix. That is, to me, Doc Martens and Blendstone, they're pretty much on a, on a level playing field in terms of quality. I think they're both a little bit overpriced, but there are very few brands that also make vegan leather. So if that is something that is important to you, you can also check out the Doc Martin Felix. Again, I don't think it's necessarily better. I haven't tested it myself, but it is another great alternative to the Blendstone in terms of vegan leather. Now, if you wanna see me compare the Blendstone 500 to the 550, you can check out that video popping up right now. And until next time, put your best boot forward.